May 20th, 1963, Dick Gregory, a stand-up comedian, went to Birmingham, Alabama to fight for African Americans' rights in the United States. He was also a civil rights activist whose social satire changed the way white Americans perceived African Americans. Gregory helped with the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, which, at one point, took place in Birmingham, Alabama in 1963. Gregory was also a very smart, dignified, and faithful man. Gregory was a very high-spirited and defiant person who wasn't scared if someone made fun of him. With this, he started to use his comedy to mock people, and it was his way of a comeback, although he was a very kind, devoted Christian who loved helping people. Gregory mentioned in his 1963 speech that, for some reason, not being able to control our image has made us almost ashamed of us, because anything he decides to tell us about us, we believe it, and become ashamed of it. Negro crime rate? Sure, a lot of us get arrested. Why? The answer is right out there in the street every day, because the whites arrest the blacks because of their color and because they don't like them, and they think they're going to do something terrible. Since Gregory was an African American, many people looked down upon him, but when blacks started to fight back and protest, he decided to do the same. Then he decided that his comedy would be a, a good idea to evoke prejudice and help protest to free blacks, and help stop segregation between whites and blacks. Look at it. We're not raping three-year-old kids. We haven't put 46 of dynamite in mother's luggage and blew one of them airplanes out the sky. And I don't care what they say about us. We've never lynched anybody. Gregory suggests that African Americans aren't the ones who are doing these bad things. Why well, just think they're going to do bad things because they are different. Also because you didn't see African Americans on TV and they can't control their image. Dick Gregory didn't have a problem with white people. It was just the way they treated him and his kind is what he didn't like. He also just wanted whites and blacks to be equal and be able to achieve the same things or go to the same schools as whites. Although Gregory was pushing to stop segregation, he also joined in protests and parades for the Vietnam War, world hunger, and drug abuse. Dick Gregory liked whites so much that in Iran, he protested to free American embassy staff who had been taken hostage by the Iranians. When Gregory went to Birmingham, Alabama, he just wanted to get his point across and stand up for African Americans because he was tired of being at the bottom of the totem pole and being treated like he was nothing. This also helped change history because he got involved, and the more people you get involved, the more things you can accomplish.